No, Molly. No, no, not my tripod. Not my tripod, Molly. Dear Chloe, today there has been a change in plans. After three weeks of working, I finally got my first paycheck and I was very excited to spend all of my money. I've had a wish list of things I've been meaning to buy for months now and I thought it would be a really fun video idea to go on a shopping spree and buy all these things that I've been meaning to buy and then show you and do a haul video. And then I realized I don't like haul videos. So instead of doing a haul video, I'm going to make a thing of udon noodles that I bought at Daiso and then talk about whatever I want. Because life is all about making plans and then throwing them away. I'm gonna go make some noodles. I don't even watch haul videos that much, so I don't know why I thought I would enjoy making one. It just seems very wasteful to buy lots and lots of things that you're probably not going to use anyway. I say as I sit amongst an entire table full of random things that I just decided to buy. But these are the things I spend money on. Food, which I eat. Stationery, which sparks joy. Kitchen tools, which I will actually use. Like, uh, this in this Asian freaking household, we didn't even have a rice paddle. Why didn't we have a rice paddle? I feel like this was justified. So yeah, food, stickers, kitchen tools. I spent about a hundred bucks. There's the haul. And I also noticed I was getting super caught up in how it was going to look, how was I going to film it, what format should I use, what joke should I use, how should I, you know, talk about each of the items. And today I was tired, so I took a nap during lunch, but then I was hungry, so then I had to eat lunch later, so then I've been tired and hungry all day. And it was just wasn't enjoyable anymore. And I thought about, like, who am I even making these for? Literally me. <laughs> Aloha. So why stress on trying to make something that is going to look or sound good or whatever when I can just eat a bunch of noodles and talk to myself, which is the original goal of what I was wanted to do anyway. Speaking of work, before I started work, I had things that I wanted that were important to me that I wanted to spend time on. So taking care of my dog, spending time with Michael and my family members, doing hobbies and activities where that were important to me, like even this channel. Not to mention the time that I need to take care of myself physically and mentally. I'm a very introverted person, I remember. I need a lot of time to recharge. And 40 hours of the week suddenly going missing really does make a big difference. It really makes me more mindful of the time that I'm trying to spend on things. There's a lot of times where I just want to zone out and watch YouTube or whatever. But there's a really big difference between being really mindful about the activities that I'm doing, whether it's walking my dog, making myself lunch for the next day, and then half-assing things while turning my brain off and having YouTube run autoplay in the background for three hours. I'm trying not to sound like a rise and grind kind of person, because that's not what I'm getting at. But the things that I am choosing to do, whether it's watching Death Note with Michael, or tidying up the house because I haven't done the chores or put away my clothes from my last video, whatever it is, then at least I'm choosing to do it, and I'm getting some kind of, like, like, I'm in control of it. What even is in this? Holy crap, this has 20 grams of sugar! Literally 40% of your daily intake of sugar in this tiny little can! Holy crap! Yeah, that is pink milk. That is- Ooh, let me get my little cup. That'll be aesthetic. Yeah, that feels like I'm drinking a strawberry pocky. I don't know if I like it or not. The milk tea have. The milk tea has 17 grams of added sugar. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, this is way more fun than just filming all the things that I bought. <laughs> Future me, watching this video back, would you even be super interested in the things that I bought? Or is it more interesting to kind of hear me just kind of ramble about my day. <laughs> I bought an onigiri rice mold because I really want to make some rice balls for my packed lunches. I'll be honest, I probably should have cracked open the ramen. Yeah, the contrast between sweet, creamy strawberry pocket and super salty, savory udon is a little weird to say the least. Mm, it'll taste better with some Hello Pandas. Oh. Mm. Walk 
mukbang were good. Pardon my French. I don't think I would make for a very good mukbang channel. Because my jaw does like the little clicky thing when I chew. Yeah, that's going to sound terrible. <laughs> that's going to sound terrible in the computer. I still don't know if I should be concerned that my jaw does that. Yeah, I was going to have this whole thing where like... I was like, mm, yes, Jeeves, bring me my Cadillac. And then it would cut to Molly, who would have like a little, like a little butler outfit. And she would be saying something in the subtitles. And I'm like, no, well, Jeeves, I, I've been employed. <laughs> okay. That's the concept we were working with before we got here. 290 calories? I feel like it's more than that. And 66% of your day's worth of sodium. Oh, Jesus. Better watch that down with my 40% of my daily recommended dose of sugar. My alternative to this was getting McDonald's. And I'm like, this sounds like a healthier option. Sorely mistaken. I'm going to go wash this down with uh, some plain old water. <laughs> I had a really good time doing this. Um, I, don't, I don't really know how to end this video. I didn't watch any of the mukbang videos to the very end to see how they finished it. So... That seems like a pretty good enough place to end it. Sincerely, Chloe.